Hello YouTube, this is Thinking Man bringing you some of the legendary COD 4. Yes people, it's back and it is as beautiful as we remember it to be. So I jumped in this morning and finally found my disc and uh, I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is it is as beautiful as we remember it to be non frustrating at all it is fantastic freaking fantastic it is balanced it is quick paced the guns have an amazing feel to them and except for uh, some bullshit that uh, I encountered uh, like the, the ever present quick scoping uh, some frag, frag time 3, but uh, not always. And uh, this lovely gun right here, the M16 All Powerful Type 95 of old. Yes, it is back, that too. And uh, yeah, except for that, nothing else bothered me. So this is the good news. The bad news is um, much more personal. Because uh, I found the disc and... Uh, it was covered in dust, so I cleaned it up with some uh, alcohol, and uh, then I uh, got on with my game, I started playing, I had blast, and then when it tried to load the pipeline, it crashed. The Xbox popped the message uh, telling me that uh, my disc may be damaged or uh, it may need some uh, cleaning up. So I clean it up again with a cloth, uh, and uh, I keep doing that. So I think that my disc may be damaged. Uh, that uh, that map may be unusable, and uh, I really don't know. I really don't know. But uh, yeah, I had uh, had so much fun, so much more than uh, I ever have with Modern Warfare 3 or uh, Black Ops. And don't even start. Uh, don't even start me uh, on uh, Modern Warfare 2. That game is god awful to me. And look at this, 10 kill streak. How much do I miss seeing that and not getting a kill streak? The old system, the 357, was the most balanced, the most uh, wonderful system for everyone, noobs got only helicopters and maybe some airstrikes to deal with everyone's got to deal with uh, UAV and uh, no one can complain about it another great thing non pro perks each perk gives you one ability one and that's it you can never be a super soldier you can never be someone that crashes everything else I mean yeah uh, if this didn't have a stopping power and uh, juggernaut, it uh, would be uh, the other perks would be much more attractive to the to the average player or to everyone for that matter. But uh, it was a masterpiece. No one can deny that. No one can deny that. Uh, the best online shooter ever. Uh, maybe if you will say uh, that uh, Counter Strike is the best to ever be created because uh, even to this day it has a very strong following and uh, there are some veteran players there uh, there's just uh, there's just yeah so much life into this team but uh, I don't think so uh, maybe it's just my opinion but I like this uh, so much better God for every time everywhere always it's fun. Plain old fun. I don't know. I just like it. So, yeah. Jumped in today. Had a blast. And was completely annihilated the other team. Um, I also played some uh, deathmatch. But that is too frantic. I don't remember it to be that uh, quick quick paced and that, uh, that frantic. But I don't know. Uh, maybe some of the noobs uh, purchased this game for uh, for 15 bucks, 20 maybe, 
and uh, then got on with it. Uh, I mean, a lot of 12 year olds learned about the series after Modern Warfare 2 was released. Maybe some of those kids who like um, putting Dead Man's hand on or who like having a uh, second chance every game or uh, sniping with those god awful snipers. Maybe some of these kids purchased the game and that's why the team deathmatch is uh, not what I remember it to be, but I don't know. And look at this shit. This, this must be uh, dealt with. This must be dealt with. I mean, Infinity Ward, come on. Get that shit out of the game. Get that shit out of every game. And where is my death streak? I've now died three times in a row, I believe without getting any kills until now. Where is my death streak, Robert Bowling? I want my death streak. No, just kidding. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, it's great. It's great to uh, have been able to play this, this game for two hours in the morning. And I think I'll play it some more if I can get into a hack-free lobby like uh, this one. Because... Um, 70% of the lobbies I got into uh, had mods, and uh, even if you, even if you didn't have any mods uh, on your console, or I don't know how that shit works, uh, it still affected you. I mean, I get into a lobby and uh, I ran like uh, like I was Gatam, I was the Gatam Flash. Uh, another lobby, and I could uh, I could climb the walls. You know, wall. I, I don't know if that's uh, no, that's not wall hacking, but yeah. If uh, I stood next to a wall and uh, pulled the pulled the uh, thing up, I could do that. But yeah, this is the end uh, of the commentary. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And uh, yeah, see you next video. Bye.